self-worth in relationships. I am a psychologist. Many people come to me because they want to solve their relationship problems. Some people want to solve their marriage problems, others relationship with their kids, some have generational conflicts with their parents, and some people come to me because they don't have any relationship. They are lonely and they don't know what to do. Today I would like to talk to you about self-worth in relationships. It does not matter what type of relationship you want to heal. The most important thing that I want you to focus on is your feeling of self-worth in relationship. Today's video will be about you being loved, appreciated and valued in your relationship. Before we start, let me introduce myself. Hi guys, my name is Elena Semenek and this is my YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness. Welcome! On this channel, I teach people to become happier, healthier and more successful in life. If you are in a difficult situation and would like to receive my professional opinion, just share your story and your question in the comments and I will be happy to answer it. This is your great opportunity to receive my free professional advice. So be brave, share your question in the comments and remember, your happiness depends on you. And if you want to receive seven free self-development webinars, seven free guided meditations and seven free healing exercises, then click the link below the video or visit elenasemenek.com slash free. So let's get back to today's topic. Feelings of self-worth in relationships. Just for a second, focus on this phrase, self-worth in relationships. Close your eyes, do it right now, close your eyes and imagine the letters in front of you, self-worth in relationships. Which word, in your opinion, is the most important in this phrase? The answer is the first word, the word self. People often complain about their toxic parents or about their partners who don't support them or value them. People complain about their work and their selfish bosses and they have the full right to complain. I'm not defending your toxic partner or your egocentric mother, but the truth is you cannot change them. They are who they are. I want you to focus on yourself. That's why the word self is the most important. You cannot change the other person, but you can change how you feel in the relationship with them. So therefore, let's shift our focus from other people's negative qualities into your perception of yourself. So let's start from the question, what is self-worth? Self-worth is an internal feeling that I am good enough and I am worthy of love. Self-worth is defined as an inner state of being that comes from self-understanding and fully accepting yourself for who you are. It simply means that you accept yourself despite your flaws, imperfections and weaknesses. And now it's time for the cold truth that you've probably heard millions of times but refuse to accept. You must be first person who will love, respect and value yourself before other people will do. When you were a baby, that was your parents' responsibility. Your parents were supposed to give you a positive perception of yourself. It was their task to teach you to treat yourself as an incredible, amazing and loving person. If you cannot apply these words towards yourself today, then probably your parents did not do their job good enough. The truth is, we all have flaws. Our parents are no exception. If you are a parent, you know that parenting can be very challenging, right? So let's stop blaming our parents for what they did not do, but focus on the positive things that they did do for us. And if anything is missing, we are big enough to get it ourselves. So let's be responsible for our own happiness. 
If we are not happy about the way we are treated in a relationship, then let's do something about it. Even in a toxic relationship where you think that there is nothing you can do, remember, there are always two people in a relationship. If a person treats you badly, then you are allowing them to do it. I'm sorry, but this is the truth. So maybe it's time to stop this. So now let's go back to the feelings of self-worth. The reason that people stay in a toxic relationship and allow others to, to disrespect them is because they're afraid of being rejected. Rejection is one of the hardest things to overcome in life. We are afraid that we will be left alone. When we are alone, we feel weak, we feel unnoticed, unimportant and unvalued. The feelings of prolonged loneliness can paralyze us. That's why many people unfortunately choose toxic relationships instead of being alone. Here is your mental conflict. In order to feel worthy in a relationship, you have to say no to things that you don't like. But saying no and going against the other person's desires will destroy this relationship. As a result, the other person might reject and even leave you. And then you will feel lonely and devastated. So it makes you stay in your toxic relationship and allow the other person to disrespect your feelings and ignore your opinions. So here we come to the next point of this video. How to build self-worth in relationships. It sounds like a cliché but you have to start with yourself. You should start saying no to things that you don't like. You should start talking about your interests, about your wishes, and you should be ready to defend your opinions. And you should accept the idea that at some point, the other person might reject your opinion, might reject your feelings, and you might feel lonely and misunderstood. You might face the fact, you might face the pain that people you love can leave you. If these people truly love you, they will have to treat you differently. They will have to talk to you differently. They will have to accept your opinions and your wishes. But if they are not capable of having a healthy relationship, then you will have to decide between A, allowing them to keep treating you disrespectfully or b saying goodbye to them that will be your choice this is the only way you can feel worthy in a relationship you need to start with self-love and self-respect on this note i would like to invite you to join my happiness club that i created for people just like you who wants to heal their relationship feel respected valued loved and truly enjoy their journey called life Check the link below the video and it will take you only a few seconds to join the club and you will receive instant access to my entire database, healing database that includes guided meditations, self-development webinars, life coaching techniques, art therapy and much more. The link is below the video. Check it out. And as usual, if this video was helpful, give me a like and share it with your friends and family. I would really appreciate it. Feel free to share your story and write your question in the comments. I will be happy to share my professional opinion with you. Be brave if you don't share your question, if you don't share your story, I can't help you. So subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.